Firefighters say they have made some progress against the Horse Gulch fire today, but they are preparing for difficult conditions tomorrow. During a community meeting at East Helena High School, leaders said the fire grew some on the east side, reaching a total of 11,500 acres. But they were able to put more crews to reinforce lines on the northwest side near York, as weather conditions were more favorable. Authorities say they have still been able to protect all structures in the area. They are concerned about intense fire weather on Saturday and evacuations are remaining in place for now. A larger incident management team is set to take over the Horse Gulch fire this weekend. An investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board says they are not ready to speculate yet about what may have caused the plane crash that killed a firefighting pilot working on the Horse Gulch fire. The NTSB held a news conference tonight to release initial information. They said the wreckage has been fully recovered and is on its way to be fully examined. Two investigators will remain for several days to collect more information and data. The NTSB says the plane that crashed was part of a group of four that came from Idaho Wednesday morning to help fight the fire. They say the planes were starting to scoop water out of Hauser Lake and they believe one hit the land beside the lake. Investigators are asking anyone in the community who witnessed what happened to contact them. If you are someone from the community who was in a boat on the lake, or in a home nearby and saw these airplanes flying over and may have seen something during the time of the accident, we would like to hear, with, or hear from you about that. If you're somebody who may have been recording airplanes flying over and might have captured video of this event, we would like to hear from you. Investigators say a preliminary report on the crash is likely to be released in about 15 days, while a full report will take around 18 months. 